Cynthia Irwin Williams was born on April 14, 1936 in Denver, Colorado. Cynthia developed an early interest in archaeology, and by the age of 12, she had already begun working part-time at the Department of Archaeology in the Denver Museum of Natural History. Cynthia chose to pursue her interest in archaeology academically and by 1958 had graduated with a bachelor's and master's degree in anthropology. Unfortunately, Cynthia attended college at a time when women were still expected to be homemakers, and if they did decide to pursue higher education, they certainly were not expected to become archaeologists. Despite the social obstacles, Cynthia's drive and determination were not stifled. In 1963, she received a PhD in anthropology from Harvard University. Cynthia occasionally remarked about how she was forced to sit in the hallway during courses at Harvard because one of her professors did not believe that women should be enrolled in archaeology courses. Cynthia persevered and quickly made her mark as a professional anthropologist, having a towering grasp over specialties that ranged from archaeology, geology, paleontology, climatology, remote sensing, desertification, and desert reclamation. From 1963 to 1964, Cynthia lectured at Hunter College in New York. Then, from 1964 to 1982, she taught here at Eastern New Mexico University. In 1978, she was awarded the Yano Estacado Center for Advanced Professional Studies and Researches Distinguished Research Professorship. Cynthia served as president of the Society for American Archaeology from 1977 to 1979 and was the second woman to ever hold this position. In 1982, Cynthia became executive director of the Social Science Center, Desert Research Institute of Reno, Nevada. From 1988 until her death in 1990, she held the title of research professor at the Quaternary Science Center of the Desert Research Institute. Cynthia Irwin Williams was a truly remarkable woman. She was multilingual in English, Spanish, French, and Russian. By the end of her career, she had published over 60 publications, a direct result of her more than 30 years of professional experience. Cynthia is considered to be a role model for women who aspire to scientific careers. This is why the faculty and students of the Anthropology and Applied Archaeology Department of Eastern New Mexico University have named this lecture series in honor of Dr. Cynthia Irwin Williams. Mm -hmm.